What's up y'all? I'm Andy. This is EPS Garage. Today I'm going to show you how to make a really simple floating frame for a piece of artwork that I did. Showed it in a few videos ago. I called her Queen of the Dead. Anyone that knows me knows I like the Day of the Dead stuff or Dia de los Muertos. Sorry for all my Spanish speaking friends if I just butchered that. But I do love that holiday. It's one of my favorites. And I couldn't wait till the holiday to do something because I found a really cool image I wanted to transfer in Woodburn. So that's what I did. I transferred it. I woodburned it. There's a video to show you how I did it. It's a short video, like a minute 55 seconds. Check that video out and maybe you'll like it. In this video, I'm going to show you how I made the frame. Well, the frame's really simple. Made it out of scrap wood because my scrap pile is tremendously hideous and needs to be dwindled. What a better place to get wood. Please, if you like the video, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and if you want to see or get notifications for future videos, please remember to ring that bell. It really helps. And if y'all have any comments, feedback, or anything for me, please feel free to leave it in the comments section. I'd love to hear them, especially if you have constructive feedback. I'm really trying to improve the channel. If there's anything I need to do different, feel free to let me know. Hope you enjoy it. Yes, I'm writing the dimensions on my ruler and sharpening my pencil with it. Then I'm gonna cut my miters at 45 degrees, set my table saw depth to make the rabbit. Did that about halfway, 3 8 inch deep. And that's what backboard of the art was set on. If you don't have this clamp, you really need to get it. It's on Amazon. It's like a strap clamp, you can find it. Got my frame made, very simple frame. And the back piece, gonna fit in it like that. Piece, little bit of different frame. I guess you could call it more of a floating frame. I'm gonna have the art piece on this, floating outside. And then my plan is to paint this white, sand it down, paint this white. We'll see how it works. I don't know, you know, kind of doing this by ear. <laughs> I felt like the edges were a little too thick for this project, so I went ahead and cut them down on the table saw. This was only for a decorative chamfer. You can kind of see where I'm going with this now. So the idea here, these pieces will be here, and then the artwork is gonna be centered in there and kind of float. I didn't want it glued to a painted surface. Does that make sense? I'm not sure much of what I do makes sense. I'm using tight bond too. And like I said, I kept the wood open, no paint. Didn't want to glue on that. The next thing I gotta figure out if I'm gonna put sugar skull images, you know, designs on this frame or leave it plain white. Now I'm not sure, so gotta figure that out. In order to get this perfectly centered in here while I glue it down. I'm using my shims. You can see these shims. They're really cool. You can um, purchase these. Make them in half. They come in 16th, 32nd, 8th inch, and quarter inch. I use them all the time. I'm using some tight bond too again. I'm going to put a little bit of glue on there. I'm going to apply the piece and then I'm gonna add some weight and let it dry for an hour or two. That's it. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Pretty simple. As you can tell, originally it was gonna be white. Black ended up looking better, so I went with black. And I think it was a good decision. That was thanks to all my peeps out there. They gave me some feedback and I appreciate that. So if you got more feedback, let me know. On the back it didn't make it easy this whole thing just pops out so if you ever want to change the frame easy you can do it no problem thank y'all for watching and i'll see you next time